Good evening, guys. That officer is out of the hospital tonight, released sometime around 8 this evening. He or she suffered a gunshot wound to the arm after a shootout this morning on the south side. In the 7300 block of Dante, our officers were performing an investigatory stop of an individual subject, at which time a, the, the subject fled. What started with an investigatory stop led to a shootout this morning on Chicago's south side. The officers pursued very briefly, at which time our officers were fired upon. They returned fire. One of our officers was struck in the arm. Three of the four officers present fired their guns along 73rd and South Dante, striking a suspect. He was immediately transported by ambulance to the University of Chicago Hospital, which was called on by our police officers. And shortly after noon, he was pronounced. But why that person was being stopped is unclear. That's under investigation right now. We're still trying to gather more information, but we do know it was an investigatory stop. Those who live in the neighborhood, not exactly surprised today to see the area crawling with cops. I've been around here about 40 years. This kind of stuff here is really not a a shocker to the neighborhood. That's why you don't really see a lot of people out going, ooh, hey, ah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, when you hear it, you just try to get away from it as much as you can, or you stay in the house and try to be a stay alive. Maurice Johnson says it's especially dangerous here when darkness falls. Going to the grocery store could, could be like going to Beirut sometime, cause night, especially at nighttime. It get real, real shady around here, you know what I'm saying? Simi Jackson adding he's simply fed up. I'm salty because there's not a damn thing being done about nobody getting killed. Everybody who get killed, there's nobody in custody. What the hell? His own son, amongst those whose life has been forever changed by gun violence, shot multiple times several years back. My son's paralyzed, you know, but you, it makes you wonder, when is it going to stop? Jackson's frustration shared earlier by Superintendent Larry Snelling, saying the city desperately needs to fight back against those wreaking havoc in our streets. It's high time that we stood up and, stu and stood up against these violent offenders, especially these repeat offenders. So when you know that our officers are in danger and our officers are trained to deal with these types of events, then what are our citizens going to do when they face that same level of danger? And we did ask for the officer's age and how long he or she has been with CPD. We're told that information is not being released, but as is standard procedure, COPA is now investigating everything that happened. We're told that more than 60 police officers have now been shot at since the beginning of the year, with four being struck and two of those officers passing away. With regard to shootings in general, 2,165 people have been shot in Chicago since the beginning of the year. That's 13% less than the same period last year, but of those victims, 305 are minors. We're live tonight at the University of Chicago Medical Center. Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Thank you, Brona.